guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So today what we're going to be covering is, well, we're going to be updating the uh, the sapling tutorial. I've done like a, a number of them uh, before, but um, it's uh, we have some more new features that we can do and make a little bit more functional trees and stuff like that. So I'll be covering how to build it from scratch and uh, make the saplings and all that other stuff. There is a small bug for some reason. I think this is like a texturing bug or something with the actual model. I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, it's only for that one face, so it's probably something to do with the model itself. I'll try fixing that before I uh, add it to the, um, the 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 model to the workspace and stuff like that. So as you can see, uh, the trees do grow up. Um, I've planted them around the cobblestone and as you can see they grow right in the same spot that they should. And if we were to use this one for example and just basically break the logs, um, eventually it'll start decaying as you can see this. So. Uh, with that being said, as you can see that it says uh, persistent and then there's false on the side, that's important for the tree to decay. Um, and the tag, uh, Minecraft leaves, also has to be a, a part of the law uh, of the, um, the actual uh, leaves itself. Uh, for the logs, however, look at the logs over here it has uh, just the log properties so Minecraft logs and uh, with that being said let's hop into another save and I'll show you how to basically set up your um, your tree and stuff so this is my world that I basically worked on the tree itself um, it's, I, I added a lot of notes, so we'll, I'll do my best to explain it. Uh, so what you want to do first is you'll most likely have your default blocks. I think I have my logs here and my leaves somewhere at the bottom here. So what you want to do is uh, we'll just start a new little workspace over a little bit further off. So we'll do just a really tiny tree. Just a 3x3 three three one just to... Uh, Get this all set up so you want to place down your logs first and then you want to add your leaves and now this is going to vary on um, how it's going to be set up but when you place it down as you can see persistent equals true so we need to change that and as you can see over here with these leaves, I've set it to persistent equals false. Now, before we do anything, what we need to do is make sure that the um, structure block is all set up. So we're gonna place down our structure block like this, um, probably a little bit closer in. And then what we're going to do is we need to calculate how, how Big we need this selection so in our case we only need three by four by three so we're going to go to save we're going to set this to one one and then we're going to set this to three four and then three and we're going to click done to see if it aligns properly it does uh, now there's two commands that you're going to need to do and uh, the first step was to build your the next step is to add your structure voids. So I've basically filled out the command. So you're going to want coordinate one, coordinate two. These need to be on opposite corners. Uh, structure void, replace, and then error. So we're going to just copy that. And we're going to go over here. And then we're going to place down a temporary block right here in our selection on one corner. We're going to go uh, fill. And then we're going to just hit the tab button to select the, what block we're looking at. And then we're going to copy this, go to the opposite side. And we want to go on and place that in our selection here. Then we want to hit tab three more times to get the other coordinates. Copy it again. Uh, to copy it, you hit control C and you can hit control V for paste. 
So when you have that done and you have no blocks in the selection that you don't want to basically, uh, that are in the way for where you're going to be placing down the structure voids, you're going to go and copy or say uh, Minecraft and then colon and then structure. And then there will be two options, a structure block or structure void. You want structure void and then you want to replace this with air. And I know you can't see anything because they're a little bit hard to see, but there are little uh, blocks now inside the selection that we didn't have before. Uh, if we turn on show invisible blocks, um, whoop, show invisible blocks, uh, as you can see, these little red dots are structure voids. If we were to remove it, it would be a blue block. So I'm just gonna do this again. Now, after we have that set up, uh, what we need to do is we need to basically replace the leaves with the same type of leaf. Uh, this can do be done with the fill command again. You want to select your coordinates and then you want to set your, uh, your mod ID with your, um, with the block ID and then you want to replace it and with leaves if it's set up properly uh, you'll be replacing it with itself so in our case we have uh, ice leaves uh, i'm just going to edit this command that we have we already set up the coordinates so we can do um, sapling and then we should have our mod elements come up so i'm going to go sapling leaves and then we're going to go and replace and then we're going to um, go and sap, well, oh, sapling, and then leaves again. And now, as you can see, it's persistent. So it was true. Now it's persistent, or persistent equals false. So that's good. The tree's set up. It's not decaying. Uh, I would wait a couple seconds just to make sure that it's not going to be decaying because. Sometimes um, if the structure blocks are added after or something like that and you set it to persistent or set it to not to be persistent, sometimes they like to decay. It's always good just to give it a couple minutes to test to make sure that it's not going to decay or anything like that. Uh, for the rest of the properties, let's go into mCrater. One of the things that I am going to point out now though is with this tree example, um, how I was able to get it to spawn in the same spot is a little bit complicated. We have our axis over here, same axis as this. So I'll get into this in a little bit actually because it's going to be a little bit harder to um, get to that point. So what I'm going to actually do is start with the log. Uh, we need to create our log first. Uh, so what I've done was I basically set up our textures for our log. The end pieces are there. I've set it to log rotation and I've set the material type to wood. Uh, it's under building blocks. You can set whatever creative tab that you want. The sound block sound uh, can be set to anything you want. I don't know if wood is required, but uh, because it's material property, it might have certain properties to tell it that it is a log or something like that. Um, there is no actual log setting, so I'm just assuming that it uh, needs to be set to wood. Uh, for most of the other settings here, you can set it however you want, but uh, the material properties might be required to be wood. Uh, for the tick rate, it needs to be set to zero. Uh, you don't want it to tick randomly or anything like that. Uh, you can set the Pretty much most of the settings however you want. Um, the flammability for logs are usually five so you will you might want to make it flammable if you want to um, and the rest are customizable. So moving on um, it doesn't have a it doesn't need a GUI property or anything like that. It doesn't have any procedures you can add them if you want. Um, yeah, so there's no generation either. So the one thing that you will need to do is set up a um, tag for this block. And what you need to do is go and type lowercase l-o-g-s and then select the tag name or tag namespace for Minecraft. 
and then you need to select blocks and and then the last thing you need to do is select your blocks that you want to add to the namespace for logs and then it will register register it as a log so when you have that done just click save and if you're running into issues try recompiling it uh, this button right up here is for recompiling and what it will do is regenerate the code basically um, I think it's either regenerate or okay it's regenerate it's not recompile so it regenerate the code sometimes it helps and you can even try just saving this again and it might work a little bit better uh, moving on to the leaves however um, again we just I uh, set up a uh, basic property for the leaves uh, it's uh, for the block base I've set it to leaves uh, this might have certain properties for transparency and things like that. So you want to set your block base to that. You want to select your uh, single texture here. And uh, by default, the material is set to leaves. So that's why I think the logs might need the wood uh, material type. Um, I have it under decoration. Most of these other settings are completely customizable. Uh, for the drop, uh, now custom drops are a little bit of a hassle. If they're decaying because there isn't really a way to test if the, the leaves decaying or not so um, I've basically just set it up so if the tree the, the leaves decay it drops a sapling uh, before we were doing it through an update tick so it's a little bit different now with the uh, leaf leaves being able to decay and stuff so if you're wanting to drop fruit or something you might need to go a different way about doing it uh, but uh, saplings will be dropped through here. This is the um, uh, an item of the sapling that I've basically created. We'll get into how to create the saplings in a second. Uh, for the tick rate, you want to set this to zero. You don't want it to tick randomly. And uh, the other things that you want to set up is the flammability. Generally, flammability for leaves are 30. So you might want to set that to that. And there is NBT data. We did do some NBT data, I think. Uh, let's head over here. Maybe I just enabled it. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Okay, I don't know if you need the NBT data or not, but it's working with it. So uh, you might need a block inventory if, that, if it's not working properly and uh, it doesn't look like I have set up any procedures. I might have done that trying to set up the update tick, but it's working, so maybe enable it just in case. And uh, spawning generation, it doesn't generate, so that's fine. Uh, now, there are two different types of saplings. Uh, the first one is a block. Um, what you want to do for your block is uh, just create a um, your basic block model and everything like that set your rotation if you want to or the item uh, this is just going to be the block that it's growing from um, I've set it to plants the hardness and resistance is uh, set to zero if it's broken it's dropping the item tree sapling which or ice tree sapling which is the item that I've uh, basically set up for the block placement and stuff like that. Um, now I have it to tick randomly. This will randomly grow the tree and uh, you, you can set the color on 